Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with a video tutorial for the new Boston. In this video, we're going to look at the jQuery val attribute. Um, essentially, what val does is takes uh, a value from, for example, a uh, text field um, or other HTML fields. So to go ahead straight along with the example, I'm going to go ahead and create a text area where a user can type, for example, their name. And they, then they can click a submit button and we will return the value onto the page and uh, display this. So this is a use of uh, the val um, attribute and taking values from specific fields. So I'm first of all going to create an input area and that has a type of text. The ID, we're, we're, we're going to give it an ID and we just say name for example. And then next to that I'm just going to go ahead and create a button. So button will give this a value and we'll also give this an ID. We can give this, a, we'll just call this button. Okay, so let's go over to our page and refresh. Uh, you'll see we've got a text field and then a button saying display. And what we want to do is we want the user to be able to type something into here, click on display and then just display the result down here. Now obviously this example is pretty useless, however when you use the val function you can take values from fields and perhaps then add them to the data, add them to a database table uh, or store them somewhere else on the server, uh, perform some manipulation perhaps in uh, PHP in the back end uh, using an HTTP request, uh, it's entirely up to you. However for the purpose of this tutorial I'm just going to create this simple demonstration. Okay so I'm going to create a div down here. And the ID, uh, we'll just say, um, we'll just call it area for now. So what we want to do is we want to take the text from here, when the button has been pressed, and put it into this area here. So pretty simple. We're going to need to create an external JavaScript file, uh, which we're going to include just under here. And that's going to handle the event of the button. We're then going to take the value from this text field by reference of name. Then we're going to place it into this div. Okay, so let's go ahead and create our external JavaScript file. I'm going to save that in my JS directory and I'm just going to call it val.js. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm going to need to include it. So I can copy this here, come down and paste it, uh, and then just change this to val.js. So now we have successfully included our external JavaScript file into our page underneath jQuery.js. Okay, so inside of our browser, we want to type some text, click display, and it be displayed down there. So let's think the first thing we need to do is create an event handler for the button. So we're going to reference this button, which I just called button. We use that doing a hash because we've supplied an ID. I'm then going to say dot click. So this is uh, set up our event handler. When the button is clicked, we perform an action. And that action is going to be a function inside of here. Uh, the function uses parentheses as normal and curly brackets, but we're just going to bring this down so we can work inside of here. Okay, so now we what we want to do is take the value from this text field. So remember, we've called the text field name. So all we need to do is reference this text field, hash name, and then say dot val. Now, this has grabbed the value from this here. And we're going to want to store this in a variable so then we can apply it to the div that we've created below. So I'm going to write var name equals. So now the variable name in JavaScript is equal to the value of this text field. So now the last step, we want to actually apply this to the div itself because anything that's typed in here will then be relayed back down here once we've pressed the button. So let's go ahead and do that. We first of all reference the div area, which is called area, and then we just simply write dot text, um, and then inside of here, name. So the text um, attribute or function, if you like, is going to apply some text to a particular area on your page. You may also use the HTML function, uh, but we'll be looking at uh, the text function uh, slightly later on in the series. Okay, so now that we've done this, this is enough to actually uh, complete what we uh, wanted to do. So let's go ahead and refresh our browser. I'm going to go ahead and type my name in here and click display. You can see that Alex has been relayed back down underneath here. So finally, let's go ahead and change this around so it's slightly more exciting. 
Um, obviously, when we uh, run this click function, we only actually grab the value when we've clicked um, the button. However, if we were to change this, for example, to name, and we would change click to key up, this would automatically take the event handle for when a key has been pressed and then released on our name text input field. So now we've eradicated the need for the button and now what's going to happen is every time a key is pressed and released we're going to store the current value in this name. So we're now making things a bit more dynamic. So let's go ahead and see that change and how it has affected it. As I start to type you can see that um, every field is actually, uh, or every value is relayed back to us and as well when we delete it it goes as well. So just using the val function on a field, you can actually just retrieve uh, the data inside of it. And this works for other HTML elements as well. Uh, for example, text area. If we have a larger text area, uh, we might want to use this as well. Now, you can also go on uh, and use JavaScript to append length onto the end of this. And what this will do is name will now become the length of the value that we've retrieved. So we can uh, essentially just bind uh, different functions onto each other. So we've um, referenced name, we've bound val onto this, and then we've bound length onto the end of val. So now name is equal to the length of the text area or the text field. So now when we type, you can see that it just relays the character count back to us. So val is an extremely useful attribute in jQuery that simply allows you to get a value from uh, a particular field.